Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a big fat mess behind me. I've got a bunch of orders that I need to pack, but before I can even do that, I need to go pick them up. Uh, but before I do that, I need to tidy my area and I got some like, can you see it on the ground down there? I got a rack because uh, my clothing orders are picking up, so at the moment I just like get them in bags and I'm like rummaging through it and it's not very practical so I got a little rack it was only 10 bucks from Kmart which is really good and some coat hangers I think it was like two dollars a packet so hopefully that will help with my you know situation yes yeah, so I'll clean up a little bit I'll set up the new little space for the clothes and then I'll go pick up the stuff so I can bring it back to a clean area, be all organized, and then pack some orders. So, this is my current situation. That's where I draw. I was drawing in the lounge, but oh no, it's just easier keeping it all separate. It's a really old couch, so don't judge the stains. Um, this is my desk I was originally in that corner and my desk was across here and it was like a little area but man I'm just like growing by the day uh, so this is my current setup but it's probably going to change again soon because I want to buy another one of these to put it next to it um, to sort something out rubbish sorry mess at this this is another new thing I just added to my site uh, last night but when you watch this it will probably be I don't even know times on YouTube confuse me see how there's this space above her head so I'm glad I got the sample first so I can like critique it and then he can fix my concerns so the space above her head for everyone else's won't be this big but yeah, other than that, I love it. It's great. Ooh, I don't know, I'm puffing. I've just been so active today. This chair <coughs> is super handy because, because look at it. Like whenever I need to do anything, I just go like this and it's so hard. Like I'll be over here doing stuff on my cricket and then I need to like go over here and get something out of somewhere. Highly recommend. But yeah, I was about to grab this other clothes rack. It was $25. And then I spotted this guy. And it was only 10 bucks. Let's see how he performs. Yeah, yeah, get forward, baby, do it, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell me, do you wanna go? Please be easy. I was gonna get. Can you see? This. Can you see it? Yes, you can. I was gonna grab another one of those because they're only $25, like I was gonna get it today. But I just wasn't mentally prepared to put it together. Because that one, I don't know why, it took me like an hour it together so I was like mm, rather not even if we do a fast with a switch and what you go down like that damn I got it Spotlight. It was a couple years ago, so I don't know if they still have them, maybe. But it was six dollars, right? So you can screw off the bottom, and it's got a little screwdriver. But then you can screw off the bottom of that, and it's got another little whatever that's called. 
and then you can screw off that bottom. <laughs> See? Mind blowing. Wait. One, two, ha. Yep, so it goes tiny. That goes in there. That goes in there. I think that's it. No, yeah, and then you can screw off the handle. <laughs> and there's this. So that's cool. Sorry if you can't get them anymore, but now you know they exist and you can start looking. Anyway, what do I need? This one. Uh, tell me, do you want to go? Do you want to stay? I just want to get you in my bed. It's no lie. last night were the puffer ones and I had to wait for the mama ones to be made today so then I can send them out together and they're little duos because a bunch of people got mama and puffer together which is really cool thank you guys so yeah that's what I'm gonna go get along with a bunch of others I think there's like heaps of Kyoto ones and oh look at that it. it's coming it's coming together already I have some t-shirts in here I need to hang up. Oh. Tell me do you want to go? Do you want to stay? I just want to get you in my bed. It's no lie. Tell me do you want to go? Do you want to stay? In the water, I've been drowning. Maybe we'd have made it through this truck from public housing. I just want to pull up in a rape, bring the mouse in. Making too much money, I might need me in accounting. I done run these racks up. I got this nine on my side, fuck back up. I don't need a tender for a matchup. Run into the door to get my bag up. You run into the door to try to catch up. Hey, I'm trying to hit it like I'm your master. Hey, I'm wrapping your gift just like I'm Santa. And I'm pulling you up inside that Fanta. I got to roll with you, baby, for real. Uh, and I got to roll with the steel. Uh, you know my guys, they are ready to kill. Yeah, I'm trying to let go and out my feels. I'm popping on the kitty and you popping on the me, pills. Do you want to go? Do you want to stay? There's some exciting new things in here. Ooh. I'm sending them to someone special. So you'll see them soon when they get there. Actually, I'll show you now. It's very bright and washed out looking, but I promise you, it doesn't look like that in real life. Oh, this is another one I just added to my site. I think maybe like two days ago. This is Grace. Grace is on the site already. Joy isn't on the site yet. I'm doing a little office tour to see how I store my things. All right. So over here, I got this little... I have no idea what you call it. I'm going to say it's a rack. I got this little rack from Officeworks. I think it was $5 or something like that. And these are my some of my A5 prints. A4s, I put them in like mouldy and then the days for from the 30 day challenge but I'm going to need to 
uh, make some more because I've got 30 more days coming and also I need to just put them in a file like in a is it concertina file that's such a weird word I feel so funny saying it but I'm sure it is that word is that right <laughs> anyway uh, and the A3s are back there just some of them just my books up here just my stamp and some stamps so I don't have to wait in line at the post shop and then some vinyl stickers ready to go some thank you cards but they're running out so thank you thank you stickers this was from a beautiful illustrator that I follow on Instagram her name is Jenna Dean Jen but go check her out guys she's got some really cool stuff uh, I don't know why these are up here I need to put them away anyway there's some A5 prints ready to go some A4 prints ready to go and I don't know what's down there oh, spare paper and just old stuff, I can't sell those. Uh, my printer. The annoying thing about all this hair is it gets so dusty. How are you supposed to not get dusty? I don't get it. I am gonna do a video soon of making another one of these, a bigger one. So I did this, this fits on A5 I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I got another one that size but I got a bigger one and then this is the so that's the it's got the paint and roller the black stuff and then this cotton rag paper is what I'm going to put them on I don't know what that is I ordered it online, but yeah, yeah, so just some boxes, I've got a whole stack of them in my closet in my room, but these are just some pre-folded ones ready to go, and then down here is the tissue paper, and then these are the smaller bags for the t-shirts, these are the bigger bags for the hoodies, or multiple t-shirts, but I haven't got the bigger, bigger ones yet for multiple hoodies. Um, there's just some, whatever, I don't even know, cords and tape, rubbish bin, and then just my corner, I need to fix that because it's so ugly right now. These are some orders that need to go out, but I'm waiting for the clothes, these are with the mama t-shirts as well. Little scale, and some tea, as always. Christmas cards. These ones, they're in the Moo container because it's cute, but they can't. These ones are from Vistaprint. And then these ones are from Moo. So I got Moo ones originally, and then I got Vistaprint because you can get like 500 at a time for cheap. So you can tell the quality is different, like those ones are way better. But these are still decent, like they're fine. I put them in the orders. And yeah, that's my office tour. <laughs> ah, and now my recently added those. Probably move that plant so I can. Oh, I like the plant, it feels homey. Hi, Pickle. Ugh. All right, so this one, I just picked up these prints earlier today. So she ordered, this was day, day three of my 30 day challenge that I'm doing again this is the second time I'm doing it just take care of yourself I need to stamp it and sign it a little sharpie pen that's like the one pen they're not allowed to touch because it's a freaking permanent marker don't want that in the house but it's gone and take that off so in my thank you card, I just put their little, their little, not big, <laughs> their name and then thank you. Well, it already says thank you, but I put their name. I've already got her everything filled out. 
Thank you card. Packing slip. Business card. This goes as a letter through the post. So because that one's to New Zealand, it's going to take two stamps. The stamps are two dollars thirty each. They were two dollars ten, and then literally just last week they went up. I know definitely I've got an A41 waiting to go out because I just picked it up. Oh, oh yeah, my sticker. I filmed earlier when I got it in the mail because I wanted to show you her stuff. So I'll just insert that little clip. So I recently discovered this uh, artist on Instagram and her stuff is so cute because I was originally looking through the hashtag I think it was holographic vinyl stickers or something because I was trying to figure out where to get them done. Anyway, on um, along my search, uh, I found her. I think it's El Rosable. I think that's how you say it. But her stuff is so cute and she's based in Australia. I bought this vinyl sticker for my laptop because her stickers were on sale when I stumbled across her website. But I got these little extra ones oh these are so cute so I'll give them to my daughters I think they'll love those and there's her name our oh, Rosable thank you thank you Lisa your stuff is beautiful and I'll be definitely ordering more and snapchat I don't really use snapchat but if you do there you go go check her out I love all this packaging all of this just from a little sticker. Love that. Gives me ideas. So I need to put this on my laptop because it is very cute. Let's go to orders. Look how good this looks. Alright. That's the packing slip. So this one, she paid an additional, I think, dollar for a priority post because you can do a priority letter within Australia, but you can't do a priority priority letter to New Zealand. As soon as you want to make it express, it turns it into a package, even if it's just this big. So to send that to New Zealand, it's four dollars sixty. But if you wanted to express it, it turns it into a package and it becomes like something stupid like $26 or something. Grace vinyl sticker. A Kyoto um, pocket mirror. So she got the Kyoto pocket mirror and the Kyoto t-shirt and a little grass vinyl sticker. This print packing slip. So here we have Australia Post. So I'm going to go create a label. So next it's going to ask me for the name and the address. So I'll just do those. I'm going to copy and paste it from Shopify. So next I need to package it all up so then I can weigh it and measure it. Thank you. 
Thank you, sticker. Thank you, card. Jasmine. Business card. Packing slip. Thank you, card. Alright, so next, Australia Post is going to ask me for the weight and the dimensions. So, 22 by 14. 22 by 14 by. So it does have the dimensions on this, like it says it's that, but when it's filled with things it kind of changes a little bit, it goes in a little bit and whatever. No dangerous goods, description's optional, I'll just go t-shirt. I don't usually fill it out, but for the sake of the video. My own packaging, 0 0.32 kgs, 22 by 14 by 4. So she selected standard untracked uh, for eight dollars. So I'll go select. When they select express, I'll select that. But that's what she selected. So I'll go save order, and then it brings you to a page where you can print. Proceed to payment. It's cool because my PayPal's already signed in. Use PayPal balance, pay now, print shipping label. I've got this sticky, these, what is it, adhesive labels. So this here is what I printed on. You can get them in packs from just Officeworks. They've got four adhesive labels, so you can see I've already used one. So I'll put that in. Wait, so it's going to come out that at the top. And then I go print. Easy peasy. And then there's just a little line over here. Sign here. And that's ready to go to its new home. My camera's going to die, so I'll probably finish up here. I've got this little selection to get through but I'm also waiting for some mama teas to go with those papa teas and some more mama teas to go with the kia teas and a couple hoodies. I hope you enjoyed that. I am in the middle of actually vlogging the process of I have my first stall in on the 2nd of November so it's the 10th of October today so what's that but yeah I'm in the middle of I'm vlogging the process of that and yeah I've just been really busy just with the 30 day challenge and with a bunch of client work I'm still trying to just get on top of all of that because I'm so annoying there's people waiting on me to finish things and I'm just all over the place so I've had to close up uh, my custom drawings at the moment because I just can't I literally cannot mentally handle anything else so I need to finish what I'm doing right now and then focus on my shop because Christmas is coming up yeah so I hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you enjoyed it like the video because it helps me and I'll see you in my next video bye yeah. Yeah. Get forward, baby. Yeah.